Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Morgan. This is my channel, Pisces Paperbacks. And today I want to talk about books that I turn to when I need a comfort read or when I don't really know what to pick up and my brain's kind of all over the place and I need something like familiar and comforting. Um, so this is going to be one of those videos. I feel like a lot of people have been making like comfort read videos lately, especially with the, all the anxiety around the coronavirus happening. Hi, Bubba. Thank you for the kiss. Um, this is going to be a, like a one shot, <laughs> minimal edits, if no edits, um, video because I am filming my Zodiacathon vlog right now, uh, vlog right now, and my camera, um, I can't really handle filming two like long videos at the same time. So this is kind of be pretty stream of consciousness. I picked out all the books over here. There's six that I want to talk about. Um, and hopefully this video turns out okay. Can you not wag your tail? I'm also like in pajamas. This is like a comfy deal that I'm doing right now. Uh, yeah, so let's get started. The theme that is going to be uh, throughout this is stupid. I love rereading books that I think are kind of dumb. Um, obviously Harry Potter is not dumb, but like I'm gonna mention, I'm not gonna mention Harry Potter. I feel like that's kind of a given. Um, so here are some books that I find very comforting when I need something to like calm me down, help me relax. Obviously, the first one I wanna talk about is Marcy, I'm doing something. The first thing I wanna talk about is the Twilight series. Um, I love this series, hold on. Give me that, thank you. I love this series and this is something that I, I mean clearly my book is like beat up to all hell. This is something that I reread re over and over again, um, especially going back to my favorite scenes, my favorite like conversations between characters because it's a story that I know so well, I my brain will just kind of like relax into the flow of it really, really easily and it makes it very nice to reread and comforting, especially in a time like this. I have been thinking about rereading them recently, even though I just reread them at the end of last year. Um, I re listened to the audiobooks last time, so I might just like flip around to my favorite scenes. That's what I really usually do. I'm not like a full book rereader usually. I just kind of like, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna read my favorite scene. Oh, it's in the middle. I might as well just read to the end of the book now. That's kind of my thing that I do. Um, the next book I want to talk about though is Matilda by Roald Dahl. This was my first favorite book that I ever had and this is like truly just like joy of reading and standing up for yourself and kind of like finding your own superpower type situation. Um, so comforting. It's about a little girl who loves to read and kind of comes to the defense of her wonderful teacher against the evil principal of the school. and. I just love this book so much. It's so wonderful and whimsical and it has really cool illustrations. Um, like that's her dad like getting ready for the day. And I just love it so much. I don't know, what else can I say? It's also a great movie. Danny DeVito directed it and stars in it. So that's really fun if anybody's interested. And then two other books that I want to talk about. The, now, the last three that are in this video are romances. So I wanted to do like more general books and then I'll talk about romances at the end. Um, Marmaduke. I have two really old Marmaduke comics. Um, I love them very much. I've had them since I was a kid and I really like to flip through and read them when I'm in a bad mood. They really just brighten up my day and it kind of sounds dumb because you know it's just like it's just a great day in, in the comics but see how beat up this cover is? Um, I just love these and I think they're so fun and if anybody has just kind of like a comforting childhood like picture book or comics or graphic novel I think those are really good to relax into especially because they come with visuals and um, they're also like they have like the physical focus I feel like oftentimes when you're trying to watch a movie to calm down it's so easy to get distracted because you still have your phone and like you can do other things while you watch a movie but if you're you have the vis the visual aspect of like a book with pictures, but because you're still reading, you're like focused in and not kind of like as aware of what's going on, which I think is helpful in times like these. And then I wanna talk about the romances. So first of all, I've talked about this before, but A Day With The Other Side by Erin McCarthy. 
this is one of my favorite romances. It's one of the oldest ones I have um, in terms of like time, longest time I've had it. And this is truly just a comfort read. Again, one of the books that I know the plot so well that I can just kind of like ease into it really easily. Um, I love the relationship between the two characters in this book, Shelby Tucker and Boston McNamara. Very like country girl, city boy, and like worlds collide situation. It's just so sweet and I love it a lot. <laughs> the next book is Rendezvous by Amanda Quick. This is my first and favorite Amanda Quick novel. Um, I just think it looks so cute. I love the pink cover and I love the main character, Augusta. She's very girly and proud of it. She's not like, I don't know, trying to be anything that she's not. Um, and she's also like a feminist. Ooh, wait, no, come here, kitty cat. She's also a feminist and I also love the relationship she has with the hero in this book because it's one of the ones where the, He's like a big stoic man but has a lot of feelings he doesn't want to talk about and I love that. I just love like a very like loud bright emotional character with like a very gruff more stoic character and this one does that like really well. And then my last and favorite comfort read. This is actually the one that I was talking about when I was like the key word here is stupid. The Buccaneer by Donna Fletcher. This is one of the worst books I've ever read. Now, there's a difference. The Beloved Scoundrel by Iris Johansson is like the worst romance I've ever read and I hate it. This is the worst romance I've ever read and I am obsessed with it. It has one of the most convoluted, uh, constantly changing plots and the characters are just like, so ridiculous and over the top and it's just like a romp from start to finish it I just love it so much it is about a girl who gets kidnapped by a pirate because the pirate wants to punish her father because he's the one who like sentenced him to a prison ship that got taken over by pirates so he's like I'm gonna ruin your reputation but then they fall in love but like the trials and tribulations that this couple goes through is too much. This is my favorite book when I have a friend who like doesn't read romance and I'm like, this is the most ridiculous book I've ever read. Can I just tell you the plot? And I just go through the whole thing and it's just like a fun time. And honestly, I've read this book, like as much as I'm like talking it up, this book is really bad. <laughs> like it has typos and it's just bad, but I have read this book cover to cover five times probably and I think that is like the true like hallmark of a comfort read it makes me smile it makes me laugh it just it cheers me up because it's just purely ridiculous I am planning on rereading it really soon I'm probably not gonna like count it because again I'm not like a rereader I'll just probably be like oh I like that scene oh I like that scene might as well read to the end it's not like really reading the book so I really love this book. I'm not actually recommending anybody read this book, but I just wanted to let you guys know some of the books that I turn to in times of crisis. Um, a lot of it is Twilight, I will be honest. And a lot of it is The Buccaneer, I will also be honest. But generally, these are some of the books. Let me just gather them up here. These are some of the books that I love very much and wanted to share with you guys. Um, let me know if you've read any of them. I mean, I'm assuming you've read Twilight. I hope you have. Please read Twilight. Um, let me know what books you read when you need something to like help you calm down, help you focus, keep your mind off of all the stress that's kind of going on in the world right now. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!